Okay, so I'm standing here with one of the veteran people from the Soul Food. What is your name? Marguerite Verissimo. And how many times have you been to the Soul Food party? About four or five times. Really? That's all? That's all, yes. Well, for some reason, I thought you had been here more, but glad to see that you're back again. So I'm in between being a virgin still and not a virgin, but I can definitely tell you right off the bat, the spread, the food is probably the best I've seen in all the years. So kudos to you and the, the chef. Thank you, I appreciate mean, it. I'm not I, even I will go get the you. chef who's my brother. Chef's and, my brother. Um, there's still a ton of food. The couple years that I've been here, the food run, ran out in like the first half hour. But there's probably like 20 to 30 side dishes. I mean, everyone just stepped up and contributed this year, and it's a lot of fun. Out of all the years I've been here, this is the best year. And it's for partying for a purpose, because why not party for a purpose, right? I'm all about fundraising and giving back, and Eric, I'm, it's very admirable that you got all these people together and you're giving back at the same time. That oh, to that's me, all I like to do. And you could correct me if I'm wrong with all the other soul food parties. I think the, the rumor out there on the street is, you know, it's always been a soul food party and this isn't soul food enough. Look around. Everyone's in 40s. I mean, this doesn't get much more soul food than the soul food party than that. And giving back is, is huge. And we need more of that in this town. I, I know we can all get together and party and drink and have a blast, but... If there's a purpose behind it, that goes way, way, way more, I think, in the long run than just getting together and partying. I'm going to have to have her come work for us. 